the most exciting, the far the most important part of our Florida project will be our experimental prototype city of tomorrow. We call it EPCOT, spelled E-P-C-O-T. EPCOT Center represents the culmination of more than 25 million hours of effort by talented artists, designers, engineers, and technicians, all propelled by the power and the force of an idea of one wonderful man, Walt Disney. Our goals for EPCOT Center are quite clear. We want to first entertain, then inform and inspire all who come here. That video you just saw was filmed in this exact place. Uh, Go move, move a little bit to the right. Just, there you go, stop. It was filmed in this exact place 40 years ago today. Wow, uh, I feel like an honored goo. This is great. I can't think of a more Disney way to celebrate the 40th anniversary of Epcot today than to wait in an absurdly long line for some more merchandise. This is crazy. We got some of the pins here, the Deo limited pin. Pins for all of the pavilions. These are pretty neat. They got Dream Finder there. That's pretty cool. What do you think, Goo? I'm gonna be out of money after this. This is gonna be a financially devastating day today. We'll never recover from this. Probably not. Here's a little figment with a 40th shirt on. That's really neat. $26.99. I'm gonna have to grab one of those. Look at this. October 1st. October 1st, 2022. That's really neat. And I've got 40th on the back. Have these mystery oh, packs these here. are cool. Oh, they have Figment doing different like all, things. Like oh, from the original all the, ride, when from, you did all the different things. Yeah, and from the different pavilions, oh, too. Oh, gosh. That's really neat. Okay. As you can see, I'm, I'm going to need like 50 baskets here. Yeah. Uh, I got this Figment shirt with the pavilions on it, and it does also have the Epcot 40th logo on the back right there. And they do have a pass holder day of shirt. It's got the logo on it, it's got Figment spelling out pass holder. Here's a look at the regular day of. You can see it has the logo on the front with the date. And then you can kind of see the back, it has all the different pavilions on it. There's a lot of day of merchandise here. We got a day of like coffee cup here, insulated coffee cup. And they do have a Epcot 40th Magic Band here. 40 years of imagination, that's, that's really a collection. They do have an Epcot 40th lounge fly here, Epcot 40th logo, and kind of some Spaceship Earth action going on there. Oh, that's really cool. It's got the pavilions all over it. That's going to be $85. And they do have a wallet to match here. That is lounge fly as well. Did you get everything you want, Goop? Pretty much. I know you're going to be mad at me. Merchandise secured. Do you have the you have a bag? I do. I have two things in it. Two things? It fit in my backpack, yeah. It's Epcot 40. If you have two things? I got some good stuff. Well, there you go. I'm with a happy goo. I have my merchandise. This is great. This yeah, is we got fun. our souvenir credentials here oh, because yeah. we are here for the D23 40th anniversary event, which will be pretty cool. We'll have like a D23 mixer in a little yep. bit where they're going to have breakfast for us. We get reserved seating at some kind of show that I didn't even know was happening. The, yep. um, it's called the Epcot 40th anniversary moment. It's at the American Theater, like outside. So I think it's just like a show for everyone, like a tribute to Epcot's 40th. But either way, we'll find out what it is. We'll see. For now, we have a little bit of time until our mixer and we'll just um, we'll walk around and see what we find. I wasn't able to show it the way that I wanted this morning because it was just so hectic trying to get in here. But they were playing the same music in the entrance that they were playing on the day that it opened exactly 40 years ago today. They might still be playing it when we go out, but they said they dug it out from the archives and they were playing it today only. So that was actually really cool to hear. They also did give us this commemorative map. I guess they're only giving these out today. And it also says inside that they'll be giving us a special commemorative print on our way out of the park today. This is really exciting. I mean, this is, this is just so cool. And even the harmonious barges are bustling with Epcot 40th anniversary cheer this morning. On a scale of normal harmonious barges to your beloved merchandise that you love so much, how ugly are these? Oh, so... It's like, um, how do you describe this? Like, um, what's a thing where it's like good in the middle? A taco. Like a taco. <laughs> um, you have the good stuff in the middle, 
the outside is not the greatest, but yeah. at least it's festive. At least it's bustling with cheer. I don't know. I, I like that. That's great. I'm glad they're actually utilizing it here. There you go. We were actually here at Epcot yesterday, the day after Hurricane Ian came through, and one of the harmonious barges, the screen kind of looked like it had been messed up. I didn't know if that was storm damage or if it was just a malfunction. I'll be curious to see, is it still doing that? Did they fix it? What's it look like today? It was just like, it was like red and blue, it was like I think. Clinching, but it yeah. does that every so often, but this looked pretty bad, so. Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see when we get over there. I think it was on, it was on the other side of the lake. I'm fairly certain it was one of the ones on this side that was malfunctioning yesterday. They all look completely fine now, so that's good. It must have just been like a general, like a technical malfunction or something. Like I said, we are here for a special D23 event in honor of the 40th anniversary. And I'll explain a little bit more what that means. At 9.30 to 10.45, they're going to have like a, um, a mixer, a breakfast mixer, where we're going to have continental breakfast. We'll be able to hang out with other, other members, other people who love Ep Epcot as much as we do. After that mixer, we're going to have reserved seating for Epcot 40th anniversary moment in the American Gardens Theater. And then the big the big thing of the day, we get a fast pass, a lightning lane, to be able to ride living with the land one time. So that, that's kind of what's making the whole day worth it. Well, that's the highlight here. That is, yeah. And for this event, they did include admission. They included a park pass for today. They included parking and actually early admission. So we were able to get in when the resort guests did, like when, half when an hour When early. everyone got in, when everyone was able to enter this park, mm -hmm. the line for merchandise was all the way down. It yeah. was crazy. So since we were D23, they had like a specific lane for D23 guests. Yeah. We got in before anyone else. So into the creation It was shop. good. It was fun. I'm, I'm very shocked to you. I was yeah. pretty happy. All right, here we go. Ready you're to be mixed. To be, you're excited to be, you're ready to be mixed. Yeah. Oh, look, That's there's cool. a pigment. We'll have to come back to these. Well, here we are, this is really nice. They have some tables over there with breakfast, coffee, teas, juices. I think some different photo ops back there. I don't know exactly what's happening because it's just like a black backdrop. Maybe they insert a background or something, but this is really neat. They do have these pictures coming up. They're like old pictures of Epcot. Those are really cool to see, but they have some fun music playing. This is really cool. I called this a raspberry Danish. I don't want to taste any raspberry. I think it's a cinnamon roll. It's good though. Over there, all the way at the end, you can see there's a line of people. There's actually this photo op over there. I don't know exactly how it works. They like project a background like onto the thing, but you're standing in front of it and it still somehow comes out. I don't know exactly. We did get some pictures, in this, so we'll insert those here. As you can see, everyone is starting to gather out here because they're about to take us at 1030. We're going to yeah. head over to the American Garden. I, I really don't know what kind of ceremony or what this thing is, but I'm really excited. Yeah. I feel like there has to be something good here, I think. Yeah. I want to get too close to the front because I feel like then we'll be like on the end. Yeah. Or we need to... We need to be strategic about this. Well, even then, we should be good. Yeah, we'll get a good spot either way. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Thank you. Yeah, I think so. We can take these. Here, let's move all the way. Here we go. I think we ended up with pretty much the best spot you could possibly get without being in the handicap section or up there with Club 33. This is going to be exciting. I honestly don't know what this is. Yeah, there's I'd like microphones, that. there's a drum set. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know, maybe Kitchen Cabaret is performing. That's my, <laughs> that's my assumption here. Well, but there you go. I'm excited.
on day one. Give a round of applause for everybody for Israel Molina. to ourselves as a worldwide family united by our possibilities. We truly believe that our cast members are the heart and soul of everything that we do. So whether this is your first visit here to Epcot or you can't remember the number of times that you had the opportunity to travel around World Showcase, we are so grateful that you are here and please know that you are welcome here at Epcot. I might be a little bit biased, but I truly believe Epcot is unique. There is not a theme park in the world that is like it. And we have something for everyone. So whether you want to go and understand what it takes to grow food at the Land Pavilion, or you're being adventurous and you want to save the galaxy for Guardians of Galaxy, Cosmic Rewind, we have something for you. Epcot will always be in a state of becoming. keeps leading us down new paths. Remember, this is only the beginning.
us, and wherever your imagination takes you, enjoy it and have fun. Thank you all. Have a wonderful day in Epcot. Well, that was pretty neat. A nice little tribute there. Yeah, I felt like it was a good tribute. I, I don't know how long people waited, but I'm glad we got to see it. It was fun. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was kind of cool. Everyone's taking a picture now, so we're kind of seeing a little bit more of history being made here. Yeah, yeah. So this is just really cool. Yeah. I think from here, we're just going to kind of walk around Epcot. For all we have left today is we do have a fast pass or a lightning lane for living with the land. So we're going to be able to go ride living with the land with no weight. That's, that's going to be the highlight here. Yeah. But that being said, we'll just go celebrate the 40th, enjoy Epcot, and we'll just go from there. Yeah. Well, honestly, after that little presentation, I think I can say one thing. You've worked up quite a goo appetite. That's true. A goo-sized appetite here. And they inspired me to be on a hunt for food. So we're going to go get some food here. I think that's probably the best way to celebrate now. Yeah. That being said, in celebration of Epcot, we're going to go to one of my favorite Epcot restaurants, Beer Garden. Only has a 10-minute walk up, so I think we're going to walk up, get food, and we'll go from there. There it is. Are you excited? Oh yeah, me too. Here we go. Wow, this is great. Yeah. As you can see, Matt is very festive with the Epcot 40th cheer. We're gonna eat some lunch here and bring you guys along. Everything at Beer Garden is always so good. They are a buffet. We're not gonna show the whole thing today because we do have videos of the entire thing. We can link down below for you guys to watch if you wanna see the whole experience. But all the food is always so good. And it is dinner and a show. So I think they said the next show is going to be at 115. So we'll get to eat, we'll get to see some music. And really for all the food you're getting, especially compared to other Disney restaurants, I think it's like $45. Not a terrible price, I think. Goo is already on round two here. Another plate full of food. I don't think I'm going to be able to complete this, but... Well, why'd you get all of it then? I'm hopeful. I guess so. I'm not going to be a very unhopeful goo here, but the central is very good. I enjoy all this. This is just classic classic food here i love this and the yeah. show's about to start too so yeah, yeah i mean what better way to celebrate epcot here with my favorite epcot meal being here this is great and of course a time here at beer garden would not be complete without a classic dessert yeah i'm a big fan of the um the cheesecake it's not your traditional cheesecake what you would expect it has like a cream in the middle and then yeah. pastries on the top and the bottom but it's really nice. It has a good flavor, a good texture. I enjoy it a lot. And of course, you can't miss out on the apple strudel here. So that's always fun. I feel like this is a good, this is kind of a celebratory dinner of Epcot. Yeah. Um, this is great. Honestly, at least for me, Beer Garden has a lot of memories of me growing up. I used to come here when I used to go to Epcot as a child. So mm. this, this is a great way to celebrate, bring you guys along, enjoy. This is great. <laughs> Now that we've nourished our bodies with that quintessential Epcot feast, it is time to nourish our souls with a true Epcot classic. We're gonna go ride Living with the Land, and we're not gonna wait for it. Yeah. What do you think, Goo? This is this is a rare occurrence. You all oftentimes have to wait longer than an hour, um, at least on a least busy day. Mm -hmm. So. The fact that we get to skip the line on Living With The Land is a, is a true beauty. I'm very excited. Yeah. And um, yeah, I just I guess we'll just head that way. We'll see what we run into along the way. But this is a true grand celebration of Epcot. This is exciting. Go stand by the Viking. One of the reasons I like Epcot so much is the shopping. Because you can go around here, you can buy like some authentic things from Norway. And of course, you have the giant troll. Yeah. I remember coming in the shop as a kid. It was it was always great to get a picture with this guy. Nice guy. But happy 40th, Mr. Troll. Thanks there. for being here. Well, good thing I did get my merchandise when I did. Yeah. Well, because look, at, look this. at this. It wraps around like three times. I've heard from some people that it was like a five-hour wait. Yeah. Um, and earlier I saw a picture of it all the way back to the seas. Yeah, yeah. Um, which is crazy. I can't believe this. Um, I'm glad we got some, but that's... I, I wish they had like a virtual queue. That would probably be the best way to do it here. You did just ask, and they let us know that right now it's looking at about 45 minutes to an hour for the merchandise line. So not as bad as it was before, but still longer than I'd be willing to wait. I'm glad we got our stuff and got out. I'm sure there's actually a wait. Look at that, there's actually a wait for once, 25 minutes. Wow. Um, we... I, I know we joked and joked about how it's always a walk-on, and oftentimes it is later in the day. Yeah. 
but right now it's 25 minutes. I feel like everyone's kind of going because it is a kind of original attraction or a classic attraction. Yeah. Look, there's a line for the lightning lane too. <laughs> Hello. Two. Thank, Thank you. you. Beneath the surface of the land, roots trap water from the flowing mud extracting precious nutrients and minerals. These elements, when combined with sunlight, create the diverse living systems of our planet. The need to produce food for a growing world led to the enormous use and sometimes overuse of the land. In our search for more efficient ways to grow food, we often fail to realize the impact of our methods. These are just a few of the edible plants that have been an important source of nutrition for people living in the tropics. Many are rich in vitamins and minerals, while others are well adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. One day, many of these lesser known tropical plants may be as important as the bananas growing on both sides of the boat. While there are more than 50,000 edible plant species in the world, most of us are only familiar with the handful that make up our everyday diet. The common grains growing here, wheat, maize, sorghum, and millet, plus rice, account for nearly two-thirds of our global food consumption. Innovative growing techniques like these increase yields while more efficiently using resources like water, fertilizer, and pesticides. Another innovation at work here is our integrated pest management program. Some of our best ideas have been inspired by nature, like these fruit and vegetable trees. By growing these ground plants vertically, we can increase yields and better control diseases. These crops taste as good as they look. In fact, we serve more than 15 tons of produce from our greenhouses and restaurants here at the land every year. These greenhouses represent just a fraction of the work being done worldwide to produce bountiful harvests for our growing population. Scientists, Farmers and even backyard gardeners are doing their part to improve the quantity and quality of foods that we all rely upon. Together, we can continue to find more ways to increase food production and protect our precious natural environment. Only then will we truly be living with the land. On behalf of Walt Disney World, we hope you've enjoyed this unique journey through our living laboratory. Well, I'm really glad we got to do that. It's such a great ride, but I can't believe the disrespect I'm hearing from Goo right now. What? We got off the ride no, and he said no, he almost fell asleep. No, don't tell him he that. He said he almost fell asleep. What I do you have to say for yourself, asleep. Goo? I, only, I almost fell asleep because I only got like five hours of sleep last night. That's no excuse. It, it's nothing against the ride. Uh-huh. Well, living with only as a classic, I would never disrespect. You guys know that. Yeah. We know the truth. But since we're over here, I think we're gonna head up towards the front near Spaceship Earth because that's where they have some special photo pass, special just for the 40th anniversary of Epcot. I don't know if it's just today or if it's gonna be going on a little while, but I know they have it today, so we're gonna head and get it before it's gone. And while we're up here, I did wanna point out this music. This music is the music that they were playing on the day that the park opened in this park entry area. They brought it back for one day only. This is really cool to hear, I, I like this. I wish they would keep it for a little bit longer, but they told us it's just one day. One thing I would say, if you're up here looking for photo pass, keep an eye on all the different areas because there's a really long line for that guy right there. And we thought that you might have to go there to get the special magic shot. But right over here, there was someone with no one. She was just standing there and she took our pictures. So we were able to get a no line. That was really nice. We'll pick it was pretty great. We'll put the picture in right here, but that's fun. Yeah. Well, I think at this point we've seen some really cool things. We've done some really cool things, but our journey here has come to an end. You ready to leave, Goo? Unfortunately, I would love to stay later, see what other things have to offer here tonight, but uh, we have a busy day tomorrow too, and we can't stay too late. So, yeah. so yeah. like a grand and miraculous spaceship, we're going to leave. Yeah. Look at that. This is That's amazing. That's pretty nice.
But there you go, that does conclude our trip to Epcot today. I'm really glad we were able to be here. I think it was really special to be here on the 40th anniversary, get some merchandise, get this cool poster, but we're ready to go home. But yeah, this is great. I love Epcot. I'm glad we got to celebrate with you guys. I'm glad we got to celebrate here. It's been a really fun day. I'm glad we got to come. Yeah. That being said, though, everyone stay tuned. Tomorrow is going to be kind of our part two, if you will. Mm. We'll be back here. We're going to be here for the returning of the Behind the Seeds tour yeah, over at yeah. the Living with the Land. So if you guys want to see any of that, make sure you are subscribed, ready for that. Um, and um, yeah, we'll just see you guys there. Yeah. But yeah, thank you guys so much for joining us in our Epcot 40th adventure today. Make sure you guys do hit that like button, subscribe. Yeah, thank you so much for joining, everyone. Yep. But as usual, I'm Goo. I'm Matt. And you're you. And we both wish a Goo and a happy Epcot 40th to each and every one of you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys later. And, um, yeah, thanks everyone.